Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about my favorite activity in Rotorheads. That's Caesar. Combat search and rescue is lots of fun in the server, as it may bring pretty intense moments when trying to rescue someone from a hot area. First thing you need to know with the aircraft that can do Caesar in the server are the following. MI-8 HIP, it can carry up to 12 downed pilots. UH-1 Huey, up to 6 pilots. MI-24 Hind, up to 6, UH-60 Blackhawk, up to 10, the Gazelle, up to 2 pilots, and the C-130, up to 30 pilots. The amount of pilots each aircraft can carry may change at any time, though they shouldn't be drastically different than what they are right now. We'll go over how to do Caesar first, and at the end, we'll talk about how the life system works. Now, let's go with step 1. Spawn in a Caesar capable aircraft and open your comms menu. Then go to the F10 other menu, go to Caesar, and click on Report on Duty. If you don't do this, you will not be able to ask for smoke or signal flares once you are close to a downed pilot, and they will ignore you even if you land on top of them, so make sure that you report on duty first. Once reported, you should see a confirmation message. Step 2 plan your flight. Because you will be landing and will remain stationary while whatever pilot or pilots you are trying to rescue run towards you, you will be vulnerable. Therefore planning beforehand where your landing zone is going to be will prevent you from turning into another pilot to be rescued. There are a few ways to know where to pick up pilots. If you are not flying in VR, I always recommend to have the live map up on a second screen or either a phone or a tablet, as this will give you a lot of situational awareness. The live map will show down the pilots as the typical helicopter icon, but with a red bar at the bottom. You can click on them to see the name of the pilot, specific coordinates, and how much time the pilot has to wait to get the life back if not rescued. You will find a link to the live map in the server info channel on the Discord server. If you're flying in VR or prefer not to use a browser or window open, you can use the F10 map. Once reported on duty, you should see down the pilots as a bunch of small blue flags. As you can see, they will not show you additional information and are mostly to know the location of the pilots based on the map. Be aware though, sometimes depending on how the server is performing at the moment, you might see them immediately, you might have to wait a bit for them to show up, or you might not see them at all. This is an inconsistency that's being worked on and can be intermittent. Step 3. Fly to the pilot and ask for a signal. Once you are within 8 kilometers of a downed pilot, you'll likely get a text call out of a pilot complaining about the noise of your aircraft. This is the moment where you can request them to drop smoke or a signal flare from the CSR menu that I showed you before. When you do, you will see a message in the top right corner telling you the direction of where to look at to find it. Smoke is ideal for daytime operations and flares for nighttime. You will have a hard time seeing smoke at night, as well as seeing flares during daytime. The color of the smoke signal will always be blue for Caesars. Step 4. After locating the pilot and making sure that the area is safe to land, pick up the pilot by either landing within 500 meters or hovering for a few seconds above them. If you choose to land, you will see a message telling you how much time you have to wait. If you are going to do a hover pickup, you should see a countdown until the pilot is on board. If you don't, then that means that you're you're not directly above the pilot. Once picked up, you will see a confirmation. You can pick up more than one pilot at a time, as long as you land within 500 meters. They will all run at the same time, but the time you have to wait for each pilot will depend on their distance in relation to your aircraft. Step 5. Once you are done picking up downed pilots, go back to any friendly FARP or airport and just land. You will see a confirmation telling you the pilots are now safe. Extra things you may want to consider. Number one, you can create an extraction point. This is helpful to get down pilots out of extremely dangerous areas. First, you have to make sure that you have already reported yourself on duty for Caesar. 
then you want to go to the F10 map and make sure that you have the ruler enabled. Then, using the ruler, make sure you place the extraction point within 0.5 nautical miles from the pilot or pilots you want to extract. Of course, make sure it's a safe location. Then, click on the Mark Label option, click on the point where you want to set your extraction point and set a name for it. There's no rule for names, just make sure that others know it's an extraction point. Then go to the CSR menu and click on Set Extraction Point. You will see a confirmation telling you how many pilots will run to it. Be aware though, you can only set one extraction point every 10 minutes. And also make sure that you delete the marker once the pilots have arrived. This is to avoid creating a mess in the map as others will see any mark you set. Number 2. You can request an ADF signal beacon to the closest CSAR by going to the CSAR menu and pressing Request Beacon Activation. You should see the name of the pilot activating it. Number 3. You can check the pilots you're carrying and their names by clicking on Check on Board on the CSAR menu. Number 4. If you get shot down, but you are able to crash land on a safe spot while carrying Caesar pilots, you don't need to create one for yourself. You can just respawn since you have survived the landing. However, make sure that you click on disembark in the Caesar menu. This will take you out of your on duty state and will drop the pilots you are carrying so they can be rescued by someone else or yourself if you decide to come back. If you don't disembark while carrying down pilots, they will lose their lives and will have to wait 24 hours to get them back. Number 5. Communicate with others doing CSAR and try not to steal down the pilots. So technically, even though there isn't any rule saying that you can't steal CSARs from others, as a matter of courtesy, try not to do it. If you see there is blue smoke that you didn't request, Try to ask in SRS or in the chat if someone else is trying to get that pilot. If you get no response, just go ahead and get it. Number 6. All these mechanics are constantly evolving. Therefore, after watching the video, always check in the description where I will post updates if something changes, or if I forgot to put something in the video after uploading it. And lastly, let's talk about the life system. With the exception of the Mi-8 and the Huey, you get 3 lives per airframe, even with fixed wing. So when you die, you lose a life. You get it back by either being rescued or waiting 24 hours from the moment that you lost that life. As I mentioned before in the video, if you get shot down but you're able to crash, land and survive, you don't need to generate a downed pilot yourself. You can just disembark and respawn. However, if you get shot, you know you're not going to survive and deliberately respawn to avoid losing that life that is considered cheating and should be avoided. Instead, try to fly the aircraft, if possible of course, as far away from the danger as possible, so that you make it easier for others to rescue you. So that's it. As mentioned earlier in the video, if there was anything I forgot, let me know. As I will try to keep the description up to date where I will include any sort of corrections or changes as well. If you would like to see a couple of Caesar sorties, check out my previous videos. Also stay tuned as the next video will likely cover what's arguably the most important aspect of the server, and that's logistics. Thank you very much and see you on the next one.